All right, so we're here at the table now. We're in our kitchen. It's our last night in our little Airbnb we got here down in the Keys. And by request, we are doing a cooking video for the shark. We caught the bonnethead shark over in Florida Bay. Got him cleaned up. Got some nice fillets out of it. So what we're gonna do is, by, like I said, this was by request. Had a friend want us to grill, so we're gonna do a grilling of shark tonight. I see it all the time, people grill a shark and talk about, oh, it tastes like a pork chop, it's so tough. My personal opinion, it's being overcooked. So I'm gonna show you how I like to do it, and our family likes it. So what I wanna start out with first, a little ginger paste. We're just gonna kinda of get it in there, pan. Decent amount, but not too much. Lemongrass. Squeeze it in there. I'm gonna finish off this last little bit of this tube here. Lost it there, BB. Is clean out the fridge today. <laughs> Got the basil. You want to take a little bit of soy. You don't want to do too much soy because it will overpower the flavor. So you just want a nice little coat. All we're doing is making a nice little marinade to let these rest in. So a nice little amount of soy. And then I actually melted some butter. So I got my melted butter. And we'll pour that melted butter in there, just like that. Now, make sure your melted butter sits for a minute so it's not burning your hands when you do this part. So you wanna take your hands and you wanna get in here where these are all the paste minerals and herbs. Rub everything around. Make sure everything gets a nice coating. Just rub it around in there. Make sure it's all even coated, both sides. You gotta get a little dirty. Rub everything, coat it up good. Now we want to take this, we're going to put our lid on it, we're going to let this sit. We'll let this sit, we'll get our vegetables prepped. On our vegetable end, we're going to do some, excuse me real quick. we got a tray here, we're doing some asparagus, some Brussels sprouts, and a little bit of broccoli in the tray. We'll do the butter, a little seasoning, lid it up, put that on the grill with it, let it steam in its own juices right there. When we get out to the grill, get that lid up, we'll get back to you. We're out of the grill, we're outside here, nice little patio here in our Airbnb. First thing we got on is our vegetables, went ahead and got them on. They take longer to cook, so we want to get them going. Um, the thing with the vegetables, you want to remember, is they will stick to the bottom. So every once in a while, I just try and get them. You got a hot pad, that's better. If not, grab a couple of utensils, and we'll shake it around. Kind of shake it around, stir them up a little bit, make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. In a few minutes, I'm going to pull that cover off, and I'll rake them around. Next thing I did, grill the fish, put down my copper mat. I love the copper mat, it gives you that good grill, but it does not let if anything fall through. Now, we saw the marinade earlier, we've let it sit, you can see the butter's kind of congealed back up. And that's what we want, nothing's moving. So we're going to pull each fillet out, lay them down on our copper mat up in here. Then soaking in that marinade, you hear that sizzle. Start out, had the heat on high, got that mat nice and hot. I turned the heat down below. I'm just gonna let this fish cook up. And we always like to use these disposable trays, They're nice and easy. We don't dispose of them the first time, we usually get a couple uses out of them. But we're gonna let that sit there, let that cook. I'm gonna close my lid to start out with, let that cook for a couple minutes, then we'll come back and we'll check it out. Okay, so we've opened it back up now. First, we'll start with the vegetables. You see our vegetables looking good. Let's see, kind of stirring them around a little bit with the spatula. Make sure nothing on, on the bottom. Everything on the bottom looks good. We've got nice greens. You know we love our greens, so we're going to leave them open to finish the rest of the way. Now we're coming to our shark. You see the colors change on the shark. We've got that nice grill sizzle going on. Like our mat. Getting that good color. So then we're going to flip all these over. Come on. We don't want to stand on the fast There it goes. Get that smells so good. We've got all those herbs that we put on them, and that butter coming through. You can see little pieces falling off of that one. A little piece right here is going to be done in a minute. 
all I'm gonna do now, since we flipped them, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat back up on this side, because we didn't do high heat on this side. I'm gonna turn that heat back up to about a medium heat. I'm gonna close this lid back down, turn a little more heat on this side, close that lid, let it sit. Next time you see us, we'll be pulling these things off. All right, so I'm gonna grab my tray here, our shark at this point. You see that piece right there starting to split? This shark is done. You don't want to overcook it. Like I was saying earlier, I see that all the time. People overcook the shark or don't season it right. Oh, it tastes like a pork chop. Not if it's done right. You get good quality shark. It has its own unique flavor. We love it. Don't waste that piece. <laughs> Little piece still. Actually, don't want to get that. Those are sample nuggets right there. Mm -hmm. Vegetables looking pretty good. The vegetables need just another couple minutes. All right, so we are at the dinner table. Now I'm trying to find lighting. This is horrible. Okay, so we are now at the dinner table. We're just sat down. We're getting ready to take a bite of what we got. Um, so everybody's got their plates. We're going to start over here. Cadence, you're the first one up. Eat the little bonnet head shark. She's going in for the second bite, so I'm just going to go with yay. Coley. That's a phenomenal reaction from the coal. If you get another coal, mm. that was amazing. Mm -hmm. That's really Tommy good. Tommy and Crystal. That's really good. I taste the lemongrass. That's flaky, isn't it? Mm, that is good. Mm. All right. And we would normally have Carl take a bite, but Grandma took him, and she didn't want to be on camera today, so... They're not there to get a bite, so that's why we got two empty spots at the table. But if you want to see Carl, give me a thumbs Don't up. Don't forget to Daddy's not sitting down. All right, Carl. He's going to camera. I think there's enough thumbs up out there to see Carl. So we're going to see Carl? Yeah, there's a thumbs up for Carl. All right. All right, so we're going to say a quick prayer so everybody can dig into the rest of their food. All right. Okay. Everybody bow your head for prayer. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for the wonderful week we've had here in Marathon and just... Thank you for the time together as a family and the fun we've had. Just thank you for keeping us safe on the boat and watching over us and keeping us safe while we travel. Uh, be with us as we travel home tomorrow and watch over us and bless us food to our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, once again, thank you for being part of our lives. Thank you for watching along. Continue to watch, enjoy, like, share, and go ahead and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Uh -huh.